Hello, my name is Jay Ocampo. Welcome to Module 4, Lesson 3 of our Cisco Encore video series about Cisco DNA Center Automation and Assurance. In this lesson, we will talk about Cisco's digital network architecture and what are the objectives and set of principles behind Cisco DNA. Next is, we will talk about the Cisco DNA Center and of which we will uncover how intent-based networking is being implemented in the campus network. We will also talk about DNA assurance or also known as analytics. The last two topics will focus on the Cisco DNA Center automation and assurance workflow views. What is Cisco DNA? To compete in the digital era, customers must move to virtualized networks enable controller-based automation, gather rich contextual analytics, and build on completely open environments. To support this move to virtualized networks, a layered architecture has been developed. Cisco Digital Network Architecture, or DNA, is an open, software-driven architecture that is built on a set of design principles with the objective of providing the following. Insights and actions to drive faster business innovation. The architecture must not only manage the network, it must allow for the extraction of information that is related to network operations and end-user operations. Automation and assurance to lower ID costs and complexity while meeting business and its user expectations. This objective is accomplished through device and network virtualization. Automation of configuration and verification of quality of experience with assurance and feedback into possible automation of changes. Security and compliance to reduce risks as the organization continues to grow and open up to mobility, cloud, and other technologies. This objective is accomplished through a centralized and automated tool which will maintain compliance at the scale of the entire network more easily than a human. Now let's talk about the DNA building blocks. The first one is automation. Automation is at the heart of Cisco DNA. You might ask, isn't this what SDN was supposed to provide? Well, no, SDN provides automation of network management. The Cisco DNA function concerns automation of network operations. The Cisco DNA network must be designed for automation to make networks and services on those networks easy to deploy, manage, and maintain. Fundamentally changing the approach to network management. Here, Cisco uses controllers to fully abstract the network and automate all day zero, day one, day two functions. Through centralized policy control, Cisco allows IT to provide the business intent and the controller to drive enforcement dynamically throughout the network. The second building block is analytics and assurance. To survive the digital transformation, you need data on where your users are connecting, how they're connecting, which applications they're using, what their connection times are, and what much more. You need this data promptly, in hours rather than days. You also need to analyze the data. The Cisco DNA network must be designed for automation to make networks and services on those networks easy to deploy, manage, and maintain, and fundamentally changing the approach to network management. In addition, the network must have pervasive analytics to provide insights into the operation of the network, IT infrastructure, and the business, information that only the network can provide. Analytics is nothing new, right? For years, network operations have been using functions such as syslog and netlow to manually obtain data about networks. The standard process was to run reports, measure the effect of the data, adjust the network as required, and repeat the process to validate the result of the changes. The abstraction of the network to a single point allows you to obtain information about your network in minutes, which formerly took hours of manual device by device extraction. This timely information is critical to the maintenance and evolution of your network. The analytics provided by the Cisco DNA allow for a cycle of continuous development. The third block is virtualization. The virtualization layer consists of physical and virtual devices that make up the network. 
Cisco is using 30 years of networking innovations and virtual functions so that customers can easily run any service anywhere. Cisco Enterprise Network Functions Virtualization, or NFV, builds the full software stack from the infrastructure software. The software can reside on servers with virtual network functions, such as routing and firewalls, as well as the orchestration tools to support Cisco Enterprise NFV on physical and virtual devices. Cisco is also modernizing its operating system with evolved Cisco IOS XE software, which is more open and programmable with model-driven APIs. This new operating system enables faster innovation and easier customer adoption of capabilities through modular patches. In addition, partners can more easily tap into the intelligence that is provided by their operating system and ASIC to, su to support their customized application. Also, IT will be able to host both management and IoT applications over the network to support fog and edge computing. Virtualization allows for flexibility and enhances deployment speed, making network deployment more agile. The fourth building block is programmability. The Cisco DNA tools that Cisco provides enable many built-in functions. However, no architecture is perfect, right? There will always be something that you want to do differently, something that you want to customize. There are needs for additional functions that are unique to specific enterprise use cases. Cisco DNA provides support for custom applications to enable the additional function and to empower any third party to build on their innovations Cisco has built APIs that are publicly available in all elements of the Cisco DNA solution. This architecture allows many programmers to develop tools and scripts that can communicate with any part of the Cisco DNA solution. This development allows programmers to bring additional features around automation, monitoring, virtualization, and so on. Cisco DNA supports the critical northbound and southbound APIs to enable the broadest ecosystem to be supported. The Cisco DevNet community helps support programmer development. Cisco continues to invest in programs such as Cisco Solution Plus to help customers identify the partners who provide the customized solutions for their business or industry. Cloud Integration Many Cisco DNA services are cloud-based to provide the level of adaptability needed. This solution also offers simplicity of subscription and also a central point of view. Cisco Cloud Service Management provides cloud-delivered policy and orchestration across different domains and a cloud-based service management capability. The cloud is simply about locating some of the functions outside the premises. This solution allows these services to be located at a central location while allowing them to be accessed from anywhere. Now let's talk about the Cisco DNA Center. The Cisco DNA Center is the foundational controller and analytics platform at the heart of Cisco's intent-based network for large and mid-sized organizations. Cisco DNA Center provides a single dashboard for every fundamental management task to simplify running your network. With this platform, IT can respond to changes and challenges faster and more intelligently. The Cisco DNA Center is a complete software-based network automation and assurance solution and is the dashboard for control and management of Cisco's intent-based networking system, which is Cisco DNA. Cisco DNA Center is also open and extensible. It provides broad support for external applications and systems to exchange data and intelligence, building upon Cisco DNA Center's native functions. Using this open platform capabilities, application can further assure alignment of the organization's network with its business objectives. Some of the benefits of Cisco DNA Center include the following. Streamline ID operations by extending the Cisco DNA Center network assurance and automation beyond the network domain and integrating networking into your ID processes. It eliminates manually intensive error-prone tasks and instead focus on achieving high-value, business-enhancing results. It protects your investment now and into the future by making sure that your network can enable business innovations and take advantage of technology innovations.
Now let's talk about the features and characteristics of Cisco DNA Center. Number one is policy. You can define user and device profiles that facilitate highly secure access and network segmentation based on business needs. Application policies allow your business critical applications to provide a consistent level of performance regardless of the network congestion. Next is provision. You can use policy-based automation to deliver services to the network based on business priority and to simplify device deployment. Zero-touch device provisioning and software image management feature reduce device installation or upgrade time from hours to minutes and bring new remote offices online with plug-and-play ease from an on from an off the shelf Cisco device. The third feature is assurance. Cisco DNA Assurance enables every point on the network to become a sensor, sending continuous streaming telemetry on application performance and user connectivity in real time. This coupled with automatic path trace visibility and guided remediation means that network issues are resolved in minutes before they become problems. Integration with Cisco StealthWatch Security provides detection and mitigation of threats even when they are hidden in encrypted traffic. The fourth feature is platform. An open and extensible platform allows third-party applications and processes to exchange data and intelligence with Cisco DNA Center. This improves ID operations by automating workflow processes based on network intelligence coming from Cisco DNA Center. Cisco DNA Center's open platform capabilities offer the next step in this evolutionary journey. These capabilities vastly increase the value of IT and the business by opening the way for new and innovative network-enabled application processes and solutions that are required today, as well as those that will be identified in the future. So now, why is assurance and analytics needed? Cisco DNA Assurance provides a comprehensive solution to assure better and consistent service levels to meet growing business demands. Assurance addresses not just the reactive network monitoring and troubleshooting, but also the proactive and predictive aspects of running the network, ensuring client, application, and service performance. So again, why do you need assurance and analytics in your network? Here are some of the key challenges that are addressed by the Cisco DNA Center Assurance. Number one, network complexity continues to increase, right? Leading to higher OPEX cost. As much as 85% of companies report that their systems are reactive. There's a strong desire to transition to proactive and predictive solutions. Cisco DNA Center Assurance Solution addresses not just the reactive monitoring and troubleshooting, but also the proactive and predictive aspects of running the network and ensuring clients and application experience are meeting with optimal performance levels. Also, there's too much data and not enough insights which come from today's proliferation of tools. Because of that, network administrators do not get holistic view of network behavior. What they're looking for is to quickly triangulate and isolate the source of contention. Cisco DNA Center Assurance gives network health visibility through proactive issues and trends. These issues consist of basic and advanced correlation of multiple sources of information, thus eliminating white noise and false positives. Now, when there is a network outage or performance glitch, ID teams need to identify the root before they can mitigate the problem. More analytics tools and more data do not always help IT troubleshoot the pro problem faster. However, having a greater insight into what is happening in the network and having a recommended solution to the problem will reduce ID time and increase network uptime. Cisco DNA Center Assurance provides both system-guided and self-guided troubleshooting. For a great number of issues and trends, it provides a system-guided approach where it performs a correlation of multiple KPIs and results from automated sensor to determine the root cause of the problem to provide suggested actions. Next is that the Cisco DNA Center Assurance Solution proactively monitors the network, gathers and processes information from devices, applications, and users and presents it in the Cisco DNA Center 
which is an easy to use single dashboard for managing all analytical tasks. Note that the Cisco DNA Center Assurance tool will continue to evolve based on the changing needs of enterprises like the static tools that are available today. Here are some of the key focus areas of Cisco DNA Center Assurance and Analytics. First is end-to-end -end visibility. The Cisco DNA Center Assurance tool collects data from multiple network resources to deliver comprehensive visibility into devices, users, and applications for proper context and correlation. With a quick check of the health scores, you can see where there is a performance issue and the most likely the cost. The insights that you gather from your network devices can influence your automation configuration and deployment decisions. Next is insights to drive proactive operation. Cisco DNA Center Assurance offers advanced correlation and machine learning algorithms to proactively identify outliers that are reported as issues for remediation. Next is to predict performance. The network sensors proactively generate synthetic application and network traffic to probe network performance. The sensor-based insights predict how the network will perform and help you to get ahead of the problem. Closed-loop automation. The insights that you gather from your network devices can influence your automation configuration and deployment decisions. Cisco DNA Center provides an integrated automation and assurance workflow enabling you to quickly take action to remediate the issue. You can think of it as a closed uh, feedback loop. And the, and the fifth focus area is streaming telemetry. It can collect many KPIs from devices as close as possible to real time. The traditional methods like SNMP use a certain polling interval, which is not real time and scalable. The Cisco DNA Assurance resides within the Cisco DNA Center, where it collects streaming telemetry from endpoints, devices, users, and applications across every part of your network. It then uses Cisco AI network analytics to define what levels of performance are required for optimal user experience on your network and derive insights on optimization. These insights are compared with your network policies in the automation section of Cisco DNA Center to help assure that the network operation is aligned with the business intent. The results are delivered on uncluttered client and device health dashboards where you can drill down for more detail on any section, clients, services, applications, wired devices, and wireless devices. Issues that require attention are flagged and you can click on them for suggested issue remediation. Now let's continue on discussing the Cisco DNA Center automation workflow. Cisco Digital Network Architecture offers centralized intuitive management that makes it fast and easy to design, provision, and apply policies across your network environment. The Cisco DNA Center GUI provides end-to-end -end network visibility and uses network insights to optimize network performance and deliver the best user and application experience. You can discover and manage your existing network using the Network Discovery and Management feature. The Discovery feature scans the devices into your network and sends the list of discovered devices to the inventory. There are actually three ways for you to discover devices. You can use Cisco Discovery Protocol or CDP and provide the seed IP address. You can also specify a range of IP addresses and a maximum range of 4096 devices is supported. You can also use Link Layer Discovery Protocol or LLDP and provide the seed IP address. Before you run discovery, you must ensure that at least one SNMP credential is configured on your devices. Also, configure SSH credentials on the devices you want Cisco DNA Center to discover and manage. The inventory function retrieves and saves details such as host IP addresses, MAC addresses, and network attachment points about devices in its database. The inventory feature can also work with device control controllability feature to configure the required network settings on devices if these settings are not already present on the device. For more information about device controllability, see the Digital Network Architecture Center Administrator Guide.
The inventory uses the following protocols as required. Link Layer Discovery Protocol or LODP, IPDT or IP Device Tracking or SISF or Switch Integrated Security Feature. It also uses LLDP Media Endpoint Discovery and Network Configuration Protocol or NetConf. After the initial discovery, Cisco DNA Center maintains the inventory by polling the devices at regular intervals. The default and minimum interval is every 25 minutes. However, you can change this interval up to 24 hours. As required for your network environment, polling occurs for each device, link, host, and interface. Only the devices that have been active for less than a day are displayed. This prevents stale device data, if any, from being displayed. On average, polling 500 devices takes approximately 20 minutes. Cisco DNA Sensor stores all the software images and software maintenance updates or SMOOS for the devices in your network. Image Repository provides the following functions. First one is Image Repository on which the Cisco DNA Center stores all the unique software images according to image type and version. You can view, import, and delete software images. Next one is Provision. You can push software images to the devices in your network. Cisco DNA Center allows you to designate software images and smooths as golden. A golden software image or SMU is a validated image that meets the compliance requirements for the particular device type. Designating a software image or SMU as golden saves you time by eliminating the need to make repetitive configuration changes and ensures consistency across your devices. Now let's talk about network hierarchy. The Cisco DNA Center design tool is built to support the scale of global customers while easily supporting customers with local or regional networks. With globally distributed sites, you come across various challenges such as networks being managed by regions, multiple network operation teams working in your network, and differences in network designs. With a hierarchical approach in network design, you can automate the rollout of regional changes while adhering to compliance standards throughout the network. For example, you can use the design tool and start a global level by creating a country level construct, say from the USA. Similarly, you can create global sites for any countries where you have a network or a set of networks that you want to provision. Now you can create an extra layer of hierarchy, say a regional group of sites like the Western United States or a state or simply add a building under site USA. The degree and level of hierarchy that you choose are up to you and your specific requirements. For adding a building, you need to specify the site name and address. Providing this information gives you the ability to create a very detailed location and mapping information which is displayed in the global or original view. You can also add building floor plan maps that can be imported to the design tool and it allows you to make changes like defining floor properties, placement of APs, and so on. The Cisco DNA design tool allows you to configure server settings for network services such as authentication, DHCP, NTP, SNMP, and password management. These services are applied at the global level and would apply or be available to all sites that you create. When applied or configured at the global level, these service resources are inherited by all sites under the hierarchy. These services can be overridden at the local level if desired. The Cisco DNA Center design tool enables you to either create new IP address pools or to reserve the pools that may have already been learned from an Integrated IP Address Management or IPAM. For customers that already have an IPAM solutions like InfoBlock, it can be integrated with Cisco DNA Center. If you're using other IPAM solutions, the REST APIs can be used for integration. You can also create a new IP address pool that can be managed centrally or at the site level. At the site level, you can further define IP address pools for LAN, management, services, and so on.
Now let's talk about day zero network provisioning using PNP or plug and play. The Cisco network plug and play application on Cisco DNA Center is used for device onboarding. Once powered on, the devices securely connect to the DNA Center and need to be claimed using the network plug and play application. The network admin claims the devices and then it downloads the certificates and will be added to the sites for provisioning. Day in network automation. Network profiles are reusable network design templates that include site agnostic parameters. It is a standard configuration of a device by place in network or device role. For example, a WANage router can have a common configuration at multiple sites. The configuration may be based on the best practices and tested extensively, thus reducing the risk of manual errors. Once you have created the network profiles, they are designed to be assigned to the sites. The devices added to sites will inherit the configuration that is defined in the profile. Cisco DNA Center provides an interactive editor to order uh, CLI templates. Template Editor is a centralized CLI management tool to help design and provision templates in the Cisco DNA Center. The template is used to generate a device deployable configuration by replacing the parameterized elements with actual values and evaluating the control logic. Now let's talk about the Cisco DNA Assurance Workflow View. Before you begin using the Assurance application, you must set up Cisco DNA Sensor to use Assurance. The following are the steps that you need to follow to configure Cisco DNA Assurance. First, install the Cisco DNA Center. With this, you can refer to cisco.com for the installation guidelines and procedures. Next is that you need to discover devices using either CDP or LLDP or IP address range as described in the last topic. Next is you have to design your network hierarchy and configure the location of the devices such as area, site, building, and floor. After completing all of this, then you can then use Assurance in your network. Now let's talk about the four features of Cisco DNA Assurance. We have network and client visibility. We have sensor-based proactive monitoring. We have streamlined troubleshooting. And lastly, we have application performance. On the next slides, let's uh, further talk about these features of DNA Assurance. Network and Client Visibility. The application allows a 360 degree view of your entire network and also shows the overall health of the network infrastructure and clients. You can get an end-to-end -end visibility and detailed health information of your network using the application. You can see the overall network client and health summary for both wired and wireless devices. The network health score is a percentage of the number of healthy network devices divided by the total number of network devices. The score is calculated every 5 minutes. For example, with a 90% health score, 90, which is equal to network devices with health score from 8 to 10, you divide it by 100, which refers to the total number of the network devices. Similarly, you have device category health score for access, core, distribution devices. You may also have individual device and client health scores. This application can show you the health history, which can help in proactively identifying issues. At the client level, you can see the application usage per business relevance category. It displays the health score for each application with historical trends. You can gather detailed metrics like throughput, packet loss, latency, delay, and so on. Now let's talk about the sensor-based proactive monitoring. Sensors use sensor-driven tests to test the health of wireless network. A wireless network includes AP radios, wireless LAN configurations, and wireless network devices. Assurance supports a dedicated sensor, which is dedicated hardware for performing sensor functions. The dedicated Cisco Aeronet 1800's active sensor gets bootstrapped using PNP or plug and play. After the sensor obtains Assurance server reachability details, it directly communicates with the Assurance server. The third one is streamlined troubleshooting. 
the Assurance tool provides advanced search capabilities based on IP address, usernames, and etc. It provides relevant 360 view with all details and issues, experience which helps you in gathering information for troubleshooting. The command runner is an application that permits you to run diagnostic CLI commands on selected devices and view the results. Network time travel is another feature that allows you to go back in time to understand the network state when the issue occurred. It provides all information in history to show the critical events and identifies when the issue occurred. Another feature is Path Trace, which allows you to follow network path for any traffic flow from any source to destination. You can gather detailed information for all devices and interfaces in the path. You can easily identify access list blocking or affecting the data path. The fourth and the last feature is application performance. Application experience allows you to monitor the health of an application. Application health is measured using a score value, which is calculated based on the application's qualitative metrics, which is packet loss and network latency. Based on the relevancy of an application, it is classified as business relevant, business irrelevant, or default. This classification is done based on the NBAR standard. Only application client server statistics and application response time or ART metrics can be monitored. Application experience is based on the Cisco Nelflow records exported by the routers. To enable AppX, you must enable Cisco Nelflow collection on the device. It also correlated KPI sources from network and beyond to identify the problem domain faster and accelerated issue resolution. In this lesson, we spoke about Cisco's digital network architecture and what are the objectives and set of principles behind Cisco DNA. We also spoke about the Cisco DNA Center in of which we discuss how intent-based networking is implemented in the enterprise campus. We also discuss about the DNA assurance or also known as analytics and we also covered the workflow views in the DNAC using the automation and assurance feature of Cisco DNA Center. Thank you very much for watching the video.